there was, uh, but that was from the swine folks, okay. and the pork producers are, are are not very well organized, so they they were receiving information on their email address for pork producers, but apparently that address wasn't any good, so they believed they weren't offered the opportunity to provide some input. And so one of those, uh, part of that bill, 1411, only one third of it had to do with poultry, the other two thirds had to do with, with swine, and, and they believed that it was unfair, that it was too harsh and too narrow uh, for swine producers. So we'll, we will work with them over this next year and, and try to address some of their, their concerns. And because they did come into it late, they joined Food Producers Late, and then they took the approach that, well, we didn't participate, and we didn't know about it, so it must be bad, and we're going to oppose it. And they were able to get food producers to vote in opposition. Um, and that that's unfortunate for, for a lot of reasons. One, because the bill was a year in the making, and 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 if uh, if everyone was not informed of that, and I regret that. I'm I'm sorry about that. But the legislation didn't just come out of the midair, and so the, a lot of people had, had to input, and and we'd written it so that uh, even if it had passed, we had more than a year. Folks would not have been in, would not have been forced to be in compliance until until July of 2012. So we would have had plenty of time to to correct any mistakes. The one of the issues there is is they simply don't trust people in general. Simply don't trust the politicians to do the right thing. They would rather stop the legislation and and rather than say okay. We need the chicken part, so let's let's enact this. And then, if you're going to work with us on the on the swine part, okay, we're good with that. That that wasn't the approach they took, and, and that again is unfortunate. But that's. Is there any chance? It sounds like you want to work on this going forward in the next year. Is there any chance that you'll split um, chicken from from swine? In this? Well, we're sure going to consider that. We we may well do that. I'll I'll know more after we have after we meet with the with the pork folks. I have given them until June to uh, to come to some consensus among themselves, and that's usually the first obstacle. Is that you get a group of producers; they can't agree with each other either. So I've given them until June to come to come with a consensus among pork producers, and then we'll sit down with them and and address their concerns in the legislation. And if we're not able to do that, then then certainly we will uh, separate them, bring the poultry separate, and, uh, and then address the, the swine uh, separate as well.